at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess him, King of glory now, though he was truly God, he Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Today's Mass is offered for the soul of Tina DeMello and for the soul of Raymond Kinney. Raymond Kinney is a brother of uh, Father Carlton. Carlton Kinney and the uncle of Thompson Kinney. He passed away a few days ago. Raymond passed away and we are offering this Mass for him and for Tina DeMello. And for all of your intentions, dear sisters and brothers, particularly those celebrating some anniversary or a, uh, an important day in your life, birthday, anniversary, some occasion, and we cannot celebrate in the sense of a true celebration. Let us pause to prepare our hearts to receive the sacrament of the Eucharist and to ask pardon for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Elders decided to choose delegates to send to, to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The whole church concurred with this. They chose Judas, known as Barsabas and Silas, both leading men in the brotherhood, and gave them this letter to take with them. The apostles and elders, your brothers, Send greetings to the brothers of pagan birth in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia. We hear that some of our members have disturbed you with their demands and have unsettled your minds. They acted without any authority from us, and so we have decided unanimously to elect delegates and to send them to you with Barnabas and Paul, men we highly respect who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Accordingly, we are sending you Judas and Silas, who will confirm by word of mouth what we have written in this letter. 
It has been decided by the Holy Spirit and by ourselves not to saddle you with any burden beyond these essentials. You are to abstain from food sacrificed to idols, from blood, from the meat of strangled animals, and from fornication. Avoid this, and you will do what is right. Farewell. The party left and went down to Antioch, where they summoned the whole community and delivered the letter. The community read it and were delighted with the encouragement it gave them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the psalm. Our response to the psalm is. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. All together. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. I will sing. I will sing you your praise. Awake, my soul. Awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. Our response. I, I will, will thank, thank you, Lord, among the peoples. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Praise you among the nations, for your love reaches to the heavens, and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. A response. I will, I will thank, thank you, Lord, Lord among, among the peoples. Peoples. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. that belong to me, listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord is with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, and I shall call you servants no more, because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends, because I have made known to you everything I have learnt from my father. You did not choose me, no, I chose you, and I commissioned you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. What I command you is love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, I noticed that in these days, of the masses that we are offering and live streaming and YouTubing to you. Many of our friends and uh, people who follow our mass are paying critical attention to what we are doing. For example, the type of sermon or the homily that we are giving every day. Some are saying same thing every day. Some are critical or uh, Commentating on the hymns that we are singing. Same hymn every day. You don't have any other hymns to sing. Some are saying, same vestment every day. We can't. You know, this is not a shopping mall that you can go and choose and pick. You saw the gospel today, for example. Same gospel on love. We have been dealing with this teaching of Jesus' love. 
for the past four days, and every time I choose him, Jordan chooses him, same hymn comes to mind, new commandment, and then someone says, you got no other hymns to sing, you be a priest one day, you know, and you see how difficult it is to preach or to talk on the same thing, same theme. You know how difficult it is for mummy, you know, to cook something different at home. Poor thing, mummy and priest, same problem. How can you make people happy? My intention is to make Jesus happy and to give him your word. If you don't like it, give it back to me. I'm not taking a collection today. We are reading these days the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. And yesterday was chapter 14. Today will be chapter 15. Today is the 15th of uh, May. And the first line of that chapter 14, 1 Corinthians is, Make love your aim. Back again, love. I don't know what hymns Father Jordan is going to take. The gospel is talking about Jesus saying, Love one another as I have loved you. What is love? We Padres cannot tell you this. Ask mommy and daddy. I'm not talking of the sexual connotation of love. But when you look at your parents or grandparents, what do you see that constitutes love? You will at once know that there is a certain devotion, that there is a certain stick togetherness in spite of maybe violence, maybe drinking, maybe lack of a job. There is a certain mutuality in spite of apparent differences. At the end of the day, a person who loves, loves a person a heart, a soul, a being, not a burger, not Justin Bieber, not one uh, fried fish piece or whatever. Love entails persons, people to whom we give our heart with a commitment that is beyond merely liking. I like fries and sauce. I like karela bhaji, I don't like. I like Fried potatoes, oh my, that is my life. And you give me that 24-7, I will eat it. You will like it, it will hurt you. But when you love something or someone, mostly you love someone. You love a person. You love the person and the Godhead of God. And in that love, there is a different set of emotions. There is a certain depth of emotion. That happens and until and unless we understand this over a period of practice we will not appreciate what is love and what is to like and what is Jesus asking us that in the relationship in which we are building with him we will ultimately love him so much that whatever he says becomes what I say and he says and what I do becomes what he wants me to do and if I fail I will only rise and go back in love, in forgiveness and compassion and say, Lord, forgive me, I start again. We cannot be liking God. It could be a start to love. But if we really want to deepen our relationship, begin to love the things of God. You love your parents, love what they are doing. Love how they are loving one another. Appreciate and be of a thankful spirit for that and that in your own self and heart you will begin to develop that notion, that finer quality of what it means to love. Patience, kindness, forbearance, giving of life, giving of self and this is where God abides and he wants us to abide with him always. Have a lovely day. God bless you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Pray, sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be an acceptable gift to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good all of his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you in love and in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. Jesus, in this season, our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed. And integrity of life is restored to us in Jesus Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts proclaim together the hymn of your glory, as they say, Holy, 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 Lord God of In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Save us, Savior, Savior of, of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the religious, the clergy, and those who are consecrated. Remember our sisters and brothers for whom this Mass is offered, and for those who have died in the hope of the resurrection, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, our patron saints and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin, safe from anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance to your will. May you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace be with you. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus Christ who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to share the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ keep us safe for life eternal. Amen. Amen. Greater love and friendship has no man than this, that he died for others, give his life for all. No more are your servants. I have called you friends. I 
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery which celebrates love, humbly imploring Lord that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring our families and our loved ones a growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May God Almighty bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Happiness. Thank you. 